You don't think Cheese is watching? Cheesecake's not watching? Cheeses? <laughs> you, do you think Cheeses is watching this? <laughs> yes. Good mythical morning. We're living in a renaissance of meat alternatives. Soy products, pea protein, Satan, or as I like to say, Satan. Does that scare you or excite you? Uh, I've never thought about Beals above and gotten hungry. I'll put it to you that way. <laughs> well, chain restaurants have really been getting on board. It's the new normal that their menus are gonna have some sort of meatless burger option thanks to the buzz around Beyond and Impossible mm -hmm. Burgers. And today, we're gonna taste them and rank them. It's time for Plant Burgers Aren't Impossible, though their name suggests they are. Today, we figure out which chain restaurant grills up the best by far. We're gonna be tasting plant-based burgers from Burger King, Red Robin, Carl's Jr., Fat Burger, Cheesecake Factory, and TGI Fridays. And then we're gonna rank them according to our scale, which is Tofurk this, beyond bad. Tofu, more like nofu, take it or leaf it. Let's hear it for the soys and the gasmic. Ooh, yeah. Burger King launched their Impossible Burger back in April of 2019, and I remember there being a big buzz around which Burger Kings actually had it? Yeah, okay, and it made you kind of want to well, try it the more. Impossible Whopper. You wanted, you talked about it a well, lot. Well, but I got the Impossible. I was having some Impossible. There were Impossible burgers that were being released at other places, right? Before that, that I was trying and enjoying. I've always been a fan. I don't think I've actually ever had the Whopper though. No, I, I never had it. Now this thing actually costs more than a regular Whopper. It's six ninety nine for the single, like the a la carte Whopper. Uh, regular Whopper is only five forty nine, and. Uh, Caloric intake is about the same as 630 to 660 of the, for the regular, but it's got a significantly uh, higher amount of sodium if you're into, into sodium, if you're looking for huh? more sodium. 1240 versus 980 milligrams. When you wrap the Impossible Burger in that Burger Kingness, and you, you haven't you're just, eating a Whopper. just eaten a regular Whopper, yeah, you would think you're eating a regular Whopper. And even if you're not vegetarian, you you might be motivated to do this for the environmental impact of not having to cowify things. Right, so here's some info on that. 90% less greenhouse ga gas emissions, 45% less energy, 99% less impact on water scarcity, and 93% less impact on land use versus beef. So that's, and that, that's that, a lot. That's not true of Burger King, that's true of all of them we're gonna be tasting. So right now, you know, I. With nothing else here, we're just gonna put Burger King right in the middle, but we do need to note that it is very much like a Whopper. It is a Whopper. Yeah. I, so you're kind of just I, judging I, the Whopper. Which is a good right, burger. Right, 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 right. So that's gonna hey, inch it up a little bit. All right, we're moving on to Red Robin. Ooh. The Red Robin Impossible Cheeseburger. Okay. You do the Red Robin thing? Uh, not in a long time. They like got one like, in by Red Robin back thing, in the day. You, you mean know? like, Eating at a Red Robin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm you know, not when a, you dress up like Robin and paint yourself red. I'm not above it. That's a good looking bun. And there's lots of freaking cheese. Mm. That cheese is very high quality compared to the Whopper cheese, I think. Yeah, well we didn't need any, any cheese on that Whopper. Oh. Because like always, we intend to have cheese, but we forget to order it. Yeah. Just put the cheese on the Whopper as a default. Yeah, I don't know. Come on. You should have to ask for not cheese. Yeah, and you can still have it your way. Um, this right here that's, is that's a good burger. It's good. So, uh, now, well, and we're saying something about Red Robin more than we're saying something about Impossible Burger. Now, the whole idea, the thing, if you haven't had one of these Impossible Burgers, they have the consistency of meat. And the way they, <laughs> they pull this off is they have this unique ingredient called soy lehemoglobin. Is that right? But you, they just call it heme. As their like cool buzzword, as, as uh, this is what Josh tells me. So we're, and this contributes to its non-meat meatiness. Like the it feels it has like the the punch and the and the uh, the bounce of meat. Uh huh. And uh, I'll tell you what's not going to work, Mister Puncher and Bouncer. Plates. On Plates. There? Oh yeah, I could have told you. That. Gotta get rid of that. All right. You agree? I totally agree. Reminder to check out our Amazon store for free shipping, old school and out of print merch and exclusive designs you can't get anywhere else. Visit amazon.com slash mythical and shop the latest. Yeah, did you know that Carl Sr.'s TikTok and teen son sells a Beyond Burger? Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. It's uh, Carl's Jr. 
And That's it's, who I'm referring to. This is the Beyond Famous Star. Oh yeah, we got our first Beyond, Beyond. Burger coming in hot today. Okay, Josh, what's the main difference between the Impossible and the Beyond Burger? So both Impossible and Beyond, especially when they first came out, advertised that it was the first veggie burger that bleeds. Beyond accomplishes that by injecting beet juice into it, whereas Impossible uses heme. Heme, heme. Is, is blood? Uh, heme is an iron-rich compound that is found in uh, animal tissue but Impossible actually uh, grows it on yeast. I'm getting now, this lettuce is messing me up. Now, I I'm know you're gonna fan. say, why is Link ripping this in half? I just don't wanna get so much bread. Okay. But you know what? You can that's do, backfiring. Just just do it. Um, now, I don't know if you can, it wasn't, it wasn't easy, or it has not been easy to like go to a grocery store and just get Impossible meat. I know that this kind of starting to happen in some places, but the Beyond patties, like, Pre-made patties have been around for a while, mm -hmm. and I've grilled those up at home. I really like them, and that the whole idea of the like, oh, this is like a rare burger that's kind of bleeding a little bit. That works to at home? Totally happens. And I mean, it's happening here a little bit, but the taste. Is not as good as the Impossible I don't know burger. if it's the beet juice, but it sends it into like a really good veggie burger place, but yeah. I know that it's not meat. And that's for me, somebody who likes meat, it's just not as good. I agree, I'm, I mean, Back when we tasted and really deliberated just between Impossible and Beyond, they were pretty close. We barely landed on Impossible. And now, we're, we're more specifically saying, I mean, more adamantly saying that Impossible, it just tastes better. It tastes better. So we're putting Carl's Jr. down here at number five. I'm sorry, Carl, but you know, this is the way the cookie crumble. I love your TikToks. Okay, Fat Burger is the classic California-based burger establishment that rapper Ice Cube visited at 4 a.m. on the day that he is referred to in a song as a good day. Oh yeah, and then the blimp uh, talked about him. <laughs> right. On that same day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I don't really believe that. I'm a fan of Fat Burger, but it's one of those, I never end up eating there because it gets overshadowed by the other burger places that I like better. Better, in and out Bigger. And uh, Shake Shack. But I like it I like it, and I miss it. It's got the relish. Man, I haven't had a fat burger in a long time, much less ever having, um, this isn't impossible yet, I can tell immediately. Mm -hmm. It's just got that very meaty taste. It works. I can taste myself helping the environment. Hey man. <clears throat> wow. This is actually way less calories, just between 420 to 550. Versus 590 to 790. Dang, so I mean, this is that's a positive. I mean, we're really talking. It's better than the Red Robin. I mean, it's, I can come is back. Better and, than the Red freaking Robin? I mean, first of all, I think just it is. look at the size of it. Look at the size of the meat. Look at all that freaking cheese. They though. put the cheese on the bottom and they it's, crisp it. They well, crisp I will it say, on the, bun. the burger is the exact same size. Okay, maybe you're right. So but they put the cheese on the bottom at Fat Burger and they crisp it on there. Did you notice that? Did you know? And that and it. I mean, it's it's cheaper. You don't have to sit down to eat it. Yeah. You don't have to think about birds. Right. Don't want to be thinking about birds. And so, they're both very tasty. And that that relish that mixes it up. That that reminds me, I need to go back to Fat Burger. Yeah. And it's man, that's a, it's juicy. All mm -hmm. right. Fat Burger takes the lead. Now we return to Drake's favorite restaurant, but this time we're not eating every single cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. We're just trying their Impossible Burger, which happens to be the most expensive one we're eating today, just under 17 bucks. Yeah, this is expensive. For but the meal. Again, we're, this is about which one tastes the best, and we're only gonna take price into account if it comes down to like the top two and we can't make a decision. This is a tasty looking burger. Never ordered a burger from, I mean, how many times do you have to go to Cheesecake Factory before you start ordering a burger in general? It's just not, there's so much on the freaking menu. Have you ever had a burger from Cheesecake Factory? Just did. And how was it? Very good. Hmm. Got that fancy bun, brioche. Mm. Just coming off that fat burger, I will say. It's not as good as the fat burger. The fat burger, everything comes together to be one thing. Yeah, it's like it's This is not thing. the sum of its parts. This is like maybe letting the impossible meat speak a little bit too much on its own, like getting, it's letting it go out there by itself on the edges there. I feel like if I made a burger at home without even trying, it would be this good. Well, and by me, me I mean you if you invite me over. When was the last time you made a burger that good at your house? 
Well, I was just making a point, man. Don't hold my feet to the fire. To the grill fire? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's I'm, not as good. It's. I mean, I don't think it's as good as Red Robin. I don't think it's, it's as good as it, the Whopper because the Whopper, Impossible Whopper, is just as good as the regular Whopper. I'm saying that we we I shove mean, it over here. I don't I don't technically agree with it's this, in the but, right I, one. but I also don't care too much because it's the bottom of the scale. I so got to go with the flaggy. If you feel strongly about that, we'll put it down there. Well, you know, Carl is watching, and I think we do need to think about the very bottom of the scale of what's the absolute worst. Mm. You don't think cheese is watching? Cheesecake's not watching. Cheeses? <laughs> <laughs> you, do you think cheeses is watching this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I feel good about this. We can change it later. All right. One more. Thank God it's final burger, TGI Friday's Beyond Burger. Now when they Good started gosh. going to the drawing board, and Roy, I'm assuming his name was, was like, What did they do? Can, can we make it bigger? Can we make it bigger? No, can we make it a little bit bigger? Can we make it bigger? And like Roy is like the owner's son, and so they had to keep saying yes. That thing's happy, look, that could be my face, man. I think at this point, it's there's too much meat, but I haven't, I haven't bitten it yet. I'm gonna go in. What makes, you, what makes you say there's too much? <laughs> it's like a hockey I puck. I mean, I am scared. I mean, that's that's bigger than a hockey puck, man. I mean, I'm not. Mm. I think the main issue here is that I'm not a huge fan of the Beyond Meat, and it's just more and more of it. Yeah, if the Impossible was stacked this deep, I might be really excited right now. I, did, I mean, I'm sure there are some people who want the protein portion of their burger to be that intimidatingly thick, but I'm not one of them. And if you like Beyond more than Impossible, and that's your choice, then, I mean, this is gonna be, this is gonna be your winner. Go belly up to the Fridays, but for us. I think we're saying this goes at the, is it worse than Carl's Jr.? No. <laughs> you said that so matter-of-factly. Slide all those over. I think it goes right there. I'm not I mean, what argue we've with done that. is we've moved beyond meat to the end, but they're not horrible. No, it's still good. None of these. If you served me this on a day when I was especially hungry, I wouldn't complain about any of it. But if you had to make me make one choice, we're, we're going to keep going. Fat burger. The fat Congratulations, burger. Fat Burger. You have done it, and I, you know I'm sorry I haven't been to you recently. This reminds me that. I've neglected something amazing, and that's everything that you do and everything you are. And when I go there, I'm probably just gonna get a regular burger. Right, um, but the reason we're coming back is because of the impossible that's burger. That's right. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Steve, and I'm about to drive this high-speed train from Brussels to Amsterdam. But first, it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. I want to get on that Dang, train, that's cool, man. man. It's a big fast train. At first, I was I thought he was gonna be like, I'm gonna get on this train. He's like, I'm gonna drive, drive this train. train. Click the top link to watch his attempt to solve impossible riddles and more. And to find out where the Willem and the is gonna land. Kill your boredom with the chunk staring at flames, tea, and sweatshirt. Exclusively at Amazon.com/mythical.